Hello, today I'm going to show you how two-way matching is done within Abbey Flexi Capture. Now this is a very neat process because it allows us as invoice processors to understand what's included on our invoice and compare that against the purchase order that was uh, presented for that invoice to, to the vendor. So what we're going to do is process just a couple of invoices here. And these should be very similar invoices uh, to what you have in your organizations today. And there's nothing too special except you see that they re they reference a, a purchase order number. And so what we want to do is we want to look that purchase order number up in our accounting system and compare that against this invoice to make sure that we received what we ordered. And so that's our first invoice, and we're just going to run two, and here will be our second invoice. And it's very similar to, you see there's an order number here as well. So what we want to accomplish is, is just that, doing that comparison. So let's go ahead and run these. And we'll just drop this into our Abbey Flexi Capture system and let the system uh, do the comparison. That's what it's doing right now. And it's done. Well, let's walk through just a couple things, just the basics that the system found automatically. You can see here that we found the business unit. We found a vendor who is on the invoice, and I can zoom in on the invoice here just a little bit and you can see there's the vendor we have uh, the business unit here we're able to find the invoice number the date automatically the total on the invoice but the very neat part and this is the two-way matching that is so so important is our purchase order you see that it found that there's a, a relevant order associated with this invoice and so what it does is it looks this purchase order up in our accounting system to make sure that we for one we find the order and for two that it matches the total that we presented on the on the purchase order and then the next thing it does is it looks up the line item detail for that purchase order and does a comparison once again against the purchase order and the invoice and you can see here that we actually have a rule what this is called a rule what this means is that there's something wrong with the data this this line item does not match um, and so we can just kind of take a peek at it what the best thing we can do is actually go look and if we press this details button we can see in our accounting system all the information about this purchase order so we can see that this is actually that line item and the problem is is that the unit price does not match you can see the unit price on the invoice says three three dollars and fifty cents and the unit price within our accounting system from the purchase order says we were purchasing this at one dollar so um, there's a problem there and w there's a couple things we could do here is uh, one we would reconcile this with the vendor so we would call the vendor and make sure this is right and of course if for any reason we wanted to uh, override it and which is not a typical response but we can do that um, we can just override it and you'll see here once it does that it will pass all the rules our rule is gone and this this invoice is ready to get exported into our accounting system we'll look at the second invoice here and very similar you see that it's it's an invoice versus a credit note there's a business unit a vendor an invoice number and date that we found automatically of course the invoice total US currency and once again we were able to find that there's an order number on the document automatically without any templates and we were able to look up that purchase order in our accounting system and find a total which does actually match this invoice so this invoice is good to go there's no issues also we did a look up in comparison uh, against our accounting system so the items here in green if you can see that mean that they have been checked and they are approved versus our accounting system so what this invoice shows is what our accounting system had on the purchase order and that's how the two-way matching is done it's a very neat feature it, it synchronizes seamlessly with your accounting system and we can implement this in just a few hours and you'll be running invoice processing and doing this two-way match against your purchase orders so that you have the correct data on your invoices thank you